Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart one and a half quart compressor style ice cream and gelato maker. You can do both styles of desserts, and the reason is we have two different paddles. One is specifically designed for ice cream, and the other is specifically designed for gelato. And the reason is that gelato has a lot less air in it. It's much more dense than an ice cream. Ice cream is more aerated, and so we have designed two different paddles for you to use to get the perfect result for a great gelato or an ice cream. The other thing I want to show you is this is the one and a half quart removable container. Just put that right back in there. And we're going to put the paddle in. You can see how it goes in. And the next thing that you have here is your locking lid. You just line up the arrow with the locking unlock so signal and turn it towards the locking icon. Also here you have a little window where you can add your ingredients or any mix-ins when you're um, making your ice cream or gelato. Has a beautiful stainless steel finish and like I said it has a compressor and the benefit of that is that you can make ice cream or gelato at any time. You don't have to chill a container overnight in the freezer. And you can also make batch after batch of ice cream or gelato. It has um, a control panel here, which is black, and it's surrounded by a really nice um, accent of brushed stainless steel, as is the front. It has a power button, a 60-minute timer, and then also a start-stop button. It's beautifully designed, and it's also a lot of fun to make homemade ice cream or gelato. So we can get started with our ingredients. Today we're making um, a strawberry, fresh strawberry ice cream. And I'm just gonna take off the lid right now because it's just, I don't wanna splash. I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit. I prepared this in advance so that um, we'd have it all ready for um, making ice cream. And all you do, it's so simple and easy. You just pour the cooled ingredients right inside. like that. I made a little bit of a splash, but that's okay. I can wipe it up really easy. All you do is put your lid back on, lock it into place, and we're gonna set the timer for 40 minutes. And we're gonna come back after 40 minutes, and it starts to turn. It's gonna start churning your ice cream. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you a beautiful strawberry ice cream that we made from scratch. So our 40 minutes is up, and one thing I wanted to mention to you is that when your ice cream is done um, mixing and cooling, you should um, take it out of the container inside and move it to a food storage container because it'll still be a little soft, and then put it in the freezer um, so it'll harden up a little bit. It's not gonna be absolutely hard when it is finished um, churning in the ice cream maker. So here we go. I just wanna show you how beautiful this came out. It's rich and flavorful and really, really pretty. And it couldn't get more tasty than making fresh homemade ice cream. And honestly, I do it with my nieces and nephews and they love it. Who wouldn't want a beautiful creamy ice cream or gelato right at home?